how close are you getting to kind of knowing who your, your main three guys are, you know, the three guys behind them, sort of settling a, a bit of a depth chart? Uh, we're not close yet. Not even more close yet. These guys, you know, they're, and that's a credit to these guys. It's not a credit to guys playing poorly or, or you know, I can't make up my mind. It's a credit to these guys who are making it really, really hard on me. And we're going to roll guys. I mean, that's the that's the, the nature of the spread offense. Those guys fastball coming in. I mean, linebackers not moving to D-line type mentality. But we're going to have to roll guys in constantly and keep them fresh. Guys are on the edges. Ball's on the edge. The ball's on the perimeter. Guys are running fast. So uh, we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing six guys. So. And it may, and it's going to change weekly. Those guys know it, and they're and they're working. And, and it's, again, it's a credit to their effort that, that I can't set the depth yet. So, do you have a top six? Then, I guess? Well, it's also in flux. <laughs> it's also in flux. Two weeks left. I won't get anywhere near set until Monday. Anywhere near set till Monday. So we're rolling guys in, and we're we're changing guys around to see what what works. You know, it's kind of like line changes in hockey, right? You're signing to see who works well together, and who makes the most plays together, who's productive together, who communicates well together. So we're doing that right now. We still got two weeks left, so it's close, but just not here quite yet. Do you guys feel like you'll rotate in your base package and and the sub packages too? I mean, I'd like to. You know, I think it's a field thing too. I think a lot of it too. Part of football is who's hot, you know, who's out there, who's got a flow of the game, who's who's playing well that game. You know, I never want to be stringent and say, well, that's what our depth is. But if a guy's hot and a guy's really blitzing well that game, you know, it's our job to make sure he gets on the field to make a play. Have you identified some of the linebackers that you think are going to be special teams contributors this season? I think Coach Powell has. You know, that probably be a, a question for him. Uh, but I, I hope all my guys are. You know, out of the 14 guys, I hope we're traveling 10, 11 guys. And the guys are, every one of my guys from starters all the way down to freshmen, I hope they're they're contributing. Kazon, okay, you had a pick six on Saturday. I heard a rumor. He did. He rumor? did. Yeah, it was good. He, uh, he he's, he's learning. You know, these freshmen, it's tough. It's tough. They're coming in and playing with 21, 22, 23-year-old men. And uh, they're also obviously thrown into the mental aspect of, holy cow, this is a college program and a college defense. And those guys are doing really well given their, their, their youth. And I've been really impressed with those guys. And, and now it's on to the next process, which is uh, continuing to learn and, and, and now go into game week and learn what it's like to be out here preparing for an opponent. Have you seen a decent number of those kind of plays, though, those sort of physical plays where a guy just, out of those three freshmen, where they just, just make a big play, just kind of physical ability? Yeah, you could see it. I mean, they're big. The one thing we did, we brought in some big dudes. I mean, big physical guys that can run. So you're seeing them make some plays in the blitz game. You're seeing them make, obviously, plays in, in, in that for in that instance in the, in the pick six. But you're seeing them around the ball, which is good. And they're they're affecting people because of their size and their speed, which is good. Which is good. A lot of spread teams, up tempo opponents on the schedule this year. You feel like you're more well prepared, you. you know, with the depth you're going to need to play a team like that. I feel good about it. I feel good about it. And. And we're going to roll, guys, and we're going to, we're always going to be, I think we're always going to have a chance because of uh, even without depth, we're going to make some changes. We're going to do some things. We're always going to be able to formulate our defense to fit whatever we're facing. And uh, obviously, it's a luxury to be able to have three seniors in my room that are like extra coaches. So when we do have that depth, they're coaching those guys up on the sideline. They're coaching, hey, you're going in for me here. Look out for this. So it's really four coaches in my room, me and those three older guys. So I think we're suited well. They got, those guys got to execute, though. It's not me out there. Those guys got to go run around at fastballs and get to the perimeter. So I think we'll be all right, though. Liam said the other day that uh, his time is spent 60% money, 40% star. Is that holding up today? Yeah. Again, they're, we're really just we're rotating more than him. You know, guys are rotating in and out. We want to see we want to see you know how guys work together because the communication aspect, you know, maybe more than the physical. You know, it's how do they communicate? How do they? And not, we're not talking defensive calls. We're saying, hey, what's the offense going to do? Is somebody, which one of them has the tip? How good is one of them at reading offenses? You know, to say, hey, that tailback looks like it's going to be this play. So we're gonna we're plugging guys in and just seeing the flow of it. How does Elijah do with the communication part of it, particularly in a scrimmage setting, these game type of settings? Yeah, he's doing well. He's doing well. Obviously, you know, he's a brand new guy. He almost is a freshman, right? Like a red, not even a retro freshman for our defense coming over in the spring. Uh, but he's doing well, picking it up, and that's one of those guys that's similar to those young freshmen that you know relies a lot on his instincts and his athletic ability, which is awesome. Which is awesome, and all that mental stuff is obviously my job to teach him that and, and not mess him up and allow him to play fast and use his use his God-given talent. That uh, that's the reason we brought him over to play out on the edge, and you know he's he's been impressive so far, especially being such a young linebacker at the position. Yeah. But a couple more for coach. You feel like he could be part of that top six? I think so. I think he can. Uh, but again, it's going to be about production, and not not to say that he hasn't produced. It's just who's going to produce the most. Who's going to produce the most? But I, he's right in the mix. Right in the mix.
Was there, was there a particular game where you saw that maybe a lack of depth kind of hurt you guys last year or kind of was a detriment? I don't think so. I don't think uh, last year didn't hurt us, but, you know, it's just a luxury. It definitely is a luxury to have, and, and I feel very fortunate to have that this year with, with a bunch of guys that have taken the time to learn the system because that's really what it's about. Those guys have dedicated themselves. So it's going to be a luxury for us this year, which I'm, I'm looking forward to.